We are thankful no time, no time. This occasion is for the chairperson of our party to do exactly what he's been invited to do by the National Executive Committee. We would like to quickly remind our Fire Chair for Operation, our Mr. Thomas Fala, this platform was a privilege. And the Chairman Chu, the magnanimity of the Chairperson. Our Fala, we are well. We take due note. But all of us here, not above So we respect each and every one. So when we come, those issues can be clearly stated. Today, we want to make a Thank you. 
the headquarters of the CDC for the first time. He is lying. He is coming. He is
But during the six years of the union of the CC government, they kept us in check. And it's time for us to document their excesses. But while we're even preparing for this press conference, we received information that the asset, the quote unquote asset recovery team was harassing peaceful citizens. And the harassment of peaceful citizens is very dangerous. But citizens do have the right to self-defense. If you begin to attack the government, the government that should be cognizant of the laws of the country. The government is all corrupt with the rule of law. So the government can get in the street and begin to attack physically citizens, peaceful citizens. And the government is actually seeking trouble. So we want to call on President Jonathan Juma Barker to take due note and to desist. The government should desist from harassing citizens. Because the speaker, the, the, the chairman of the CC Compact has got the authority of the right to harass any citizen without the judicial process. So for the government to, to, to be engaged in extrajudicial activity, because the people go in the streets and they begin to physically attack citizens, peaceful citizens. It's very counterproductive, it is reprehensible, and we test it in a stronger form. That's why we have decided not only to come here to speak, but to send out letters to the standard agencies of government that have the authority to check the executive branch. So I will take them out to the media letter we wrote to a Kofa. So on the Jonathan Sonati Kofa, speaker, because of Representative Capital Hill, Morovia, Liberia, March 27, 2024. Dear Speaker Kofa, we would like to bring to your urgent attention and that of the entire membership of the House of Representatives matters of grave national concern pertaining to serious violations of the current constitution and other statutory laws of the Unipartic Government of President Jesus Human Partner. As you are aware, Liberia conducted democratic elections in October and November 2023 in which the Unipartic won by a very slim margin of about 1% of the votes. His Excellency President George Manawiya considered and congratulated President Wakai long before the announcement of the final results. Yet the concession of the President was done in good faith and was intended to bring down election related tensions and to save the country from any potential electoral violence. Because we are, after considering immediately procedure, we started the most robust transition process which facilitated the peaceful democratic transfer of power to the city government to the United States government of Constitution in Hongkong. Since the inception of the government, of the Union Party government on January 22, 2024, there have been a series of actions which are in clear violation of the Liberian Constitution, various auditory laws, and established protocols. Since the inception of the government, there have been a series of actions which are in clear violation of the Constitution. Paramount among these disruptive actions of the current government is that they respect the other this that being exhibited to the former president, His Excellency George Manavia. After handing over power on January 22nd, there have been no proper arrangement or discussion or briefing on security and protocols for the former president. Upon Upon the return of President Wea to Liberia on February 23rd, 2024, and delegation, they were denied access to the VIP launch that was constructed by the city's government. And while the president plane was airborne, there were delays in granting the president's aircraft any rights, even though they had been given prior assurance. This, in our opinion, 
on se dit faire un serious lieu de bruit et potentiellement être un threat to life pour le monde de l'Ira. Il y a aussi eu le harassment des officiers de l'Ira qui ont été provoqués une protection de la Somme Président. Ils ont été arrêtés, suspendus, ont été fait des wars. The recent press release of the EPS indicated that there is no law. The recent press release of the EPS indicated that there is no law requiring protection for former presidents or former PRPs in the country. It's a clear demonstration of, of insensitivity and disregard for established rules, which provided security protection for the former president, for the current president, when he was former vice president of the Republic. The release for the EPS is a broad disrespect to the of the former president and will constitute a threat to his person. A real lie again. The release for the EPS indicating that there is no requirement by law to provide protection for former president of the Republic asking the president to seek public protection a Welcome back to the country, the acting chair of the CDC of the Ganga Epo, the 
use of an air film in surveillance situation has the potential to create an occasion for citizens which to grow the trust and confidence between citizens and the armed forces. As a country, we have tried to build confidence between citizens and the armed forces. It is critically important to continue to build and consolidate that trust and confidence as a way of consolidating and sustaining and keeping the peace and stability of the country. Another issue we wish to draw the attention of the Honorable House of Representatives is the harassment of civil servants and the state of enterprises. Another issue we wish to draw the attention of the national legislature and international partners is the harassment of civil servants and other public sector workers, agencies, commission, and state owned enterprises. The harassment of public sector employees for political reasons is counterproductive and is a clear violation of the Constitution of Liberia, which guarantees the right to work and also guarantees your speech and freedom of association. The government should resist. The government should for harassing perceived supporters of the CDC across the government. Summary dismissals and unwarranted suspension of fixed grounds are totally unacceptable, inappropriate, and reprehensible. There are reports. There are reports also that recently I found foreign service staff of the government of Liberia and our permissions and power are being harassed and threatened in some cases in our salaries and benefits. Call on the national legislature, both the House of Representatives and the Senate, to so these allegations the of harassment the and courts of the foreign service. These foreign service staff were duly appointed and commissioned and the former president of the Republic of Liberia and the former government and were deployed in the foreign service. And so the current government does not have the right to begin to harass the state of the Senate and the House of the to do an investigation of this matter. The other great issue is that interference with 10 new offices across the government. Since the inauguration of the Waka government, it has been back on the harassment and attempted dismissals of officials in ten new positions. Most of the laws of twenty offices across the government were created during the twelve-year administration of the United Party. And when the the government took the power, it did everything possible. Most of the laws of the offices were created during the 12 year administration of the United Party and government. The current president, who was the vice president of the Republic and then president of the Senate for 12 years, is a signatory to these laws. Ignoring the security of 10 new provider by this law, the officials on these statutes contravene the spirit of good governance and the rule of law. A few days ago, the head of the GRF quote unquote as a Republican, Mr. S. Martin, appeared on a talk show and lied by his excellency, former President Ria, did not declare his asset. Which is a blatant falsehood. He never made false statements against the former president of the Republic of Liberia by an official of the current government that wants to harass him, he draws disrespect, and it should not be tolerated. Now, for all, 
national legislature also say take seats on this matter. Oh, another note, which is very, very serious. Several individuals accused of engaging in sexual violence in local campaign, which resulted in the death of citizens in Foya. Local campaign have been appointed to local government position in the same locality where the support. And these individuals are still on trial. The appointment of these the alleged perpetrator of murder and electoral violence in FOIA has the propensity to incite violence and seem to encourage impunity. We call on the president, Joseph Human Brother, to immediately withdraw these appointments. No. To conclude, I'd like to thank the Honorable House of Representatives, one of the leaders of the Speaker, Pastor J. Sonati Kofa, for signing the war and economic crimes book resolution. Those are constitutionally guaranteed rights. 
must not be tampered with. No amount of power drunkenness. No amount of power drunkenness to make any government official or any government minister or government, any government director to be able to target peaceful citizens. The elections are over. We are preparing ourselves and the electoral battles front. Do not be the disruptor of your own government. Do not be the disruptor of your own government. Because that action that the day we ran, the same action that the police were harassed, were harassed. That is totally unacceptable. The same action the police have this country diligently. If you think you have committed any crime, you have the course. Why with the government? Why with the government? It is, it is so amusing to see that the government is refusing to use its own judicial system. The government is creating a situation where it is government justice. The government should be the last, the last to call people in the street and beat them as thugs to allow citizens. Whether they are not government officials or not. So we call the government to maintain the peace. We call on the government to maintain the peace. Because there's a joint manner we are considered now out of weakness. But he considered so that he will put a stamp on the democratic potential of the major correlation for democratic change. He no. considered to demonstrate to the opposition community and the coalition for democratic change is the party of the people. We can see that because he is an international peace actor. He is an international peace actor who said that he will not be part of any activity that will lead to